This coverage is sponsored by Richard Sounds Manchester. Call 0333 900 0086 for the best prices and expert advice for TVs, AV and Hi-Fi. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. Given that the LG HU85 has been available for more than one year, I'm not even sure if I should spend time reviewing this ultra short throw laser projector. But because I've gathered so much technical data not covered by other publications, I thought I would try to present them all in this review video to help your purchase decision. My review sample is the LG HU85 LS, which is sold in Europe without an inbuilt tuner, retailing for around £5,000. I believe the equivalent model in the USA is the LG HU85 LA. The rectangular chassis is a bit wider than most Chinese USD laser projectors I've tested, with sharp corners and a matte white finish to go with a typical living room setup. Here I am projecting it onto a motorized roll-down screen from Vividstorm. I will leave a link in the YouTube description below. The front-firing speakers are covered by premium grey, acoustically transparent fabric from Danish company Quadrat, while the connections are found at the rear including two HDMI 2.0 ports with HDCP 2.2 compliance. As with most UST projectors, there are no lens shift or zoom functions, so physical placement of the LG HU85 Cinebeam 4K laser projector is critical to achieving the size and position you desire for the final projected image. There's keystone adjustment on board which you can access through the edge adjustment control, but we would advise against using this unless absolutely necessary, since keystoning involves some scaling which would degrade the picture. There is a cheeky pop-up flap on top of the projector, beneath which you can find a manual focus ring which is a bit disappointing at this price point, considering that it also zoomed the picture slightly, and many cheaper USD laser projectors from China already offer precise electronic focus that you can adjust using the remote control. Talking of which, the supplied remote is an LG Magic remote but in white, and most importantly is backlit. I like it so much that I intend to source one separately to pair up with my 48-inch LG CX OLED grading monitor. Just an idea for some of you entrepreneurs watching this. All I want is a Twitter mention when you strike it rich. There's a joystick hidden under the right bottom corner of the projector, but like all discerning gentlemen, we generally don't fancy feeling for a knob sight unseen. The HU85 LS is equipped with LG's excellent webOS platform, providing access to key streaming apps such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Rakuten TV, and YouTube. However, at the time we filmed this video in November 2020, Disney Plus and Apple TV apps couldn't be installed due to the underlying webOS software not being up to date enough. Our review sample did not emit any audible coil whine, and its fan noise was quite enough to not grate our ears regardless of the energy saving setting which dictates the light output and therefore fan noise, although please be aware that energy saving maximum would introduce a severe green tint on our review unit, prompting us to avoid using that particular setting. Let's talk about picture quality. The LG HU85LS uses a 0.66-inch DMD chip from Texas Instruments, which employs mirror flashing techniques to achieve 4K resolution. In the service menu, the chipset is codenamed K5LP, which is different from other SOCs we have seen on LG TVs. Because the LG HU85LS or HU85LA is a DLP projector, you have to be realistic about its black level performance. In a pitch black room, blacks won't look as deep as those produced by Epson's LCD and Sony's XSRD projectors, let alone JVC's class-leading DILA machines. That's it, because of its ultra-structural distance and laser light engine, the HU85's light output was bright enough to present a watchable image in the presence of ambient light, although of course, as with most projectors, the darker the room, the punchier the picture. The calibration controls on the LG HU85 Cinebeam projector are similar to those found on the company's OLED and LCD TVs, with 2-point and 22-point white balance adjustments, as well as a comprehensive color management system or CMS. After SDR calibration, 
Delta errors on this challenging color checker SG chart averaged around 2. We had at least 10 colors exceeding the humanly perceptible inaccuracy threshold of Delta error 3. Mainly because we couldn't use the color management system, which would introduce posterization even with gentle adjustments. Nevertheless, colors including skin tones should still look natural enough for most viewers without a reference display to which to compare. A quick glance at the spectral power distribution suggests that the LG HU85 is powered by dual laser, red and blue, but in reality, the projector uses three laser diodes, two blue and one red, with one of the blue lasers converted to green via color filter. As a result, green saturation was slightly lacking, fulfilling only 88% of this IP3 color space in UV terms even though RAC 2020 coverage reached 77%. The native refresh rate of the LG HU85 appeared to be 60Hz, which is part of the reason why the projector wasn't able to display 24 frames per second movies smoothly, even with real cinema enabled, with slow panning shots exhibiting telltale telecynic judder. You can engage true motion to smooth out the judder, but unfortunately this would also introduce the opera effect or SOE and the odd frame skipping, not to mention obvious interpolation artifacts in scenes containing complex movements. Motion resolution was limited to the sample and hole baseline of 300 lines, according to this horizontally scrolling test pattern. Since the LG HU85 LS doesn't offer the blur, only the other functionality which doesn't improve motion clarity. A picture projected to the large screen deserves high resolution source content and we hope that most owners of the LG HU85LA or HU85LS will keep standard definition viewing to a minimum, since overscan cannot be disabled on the projector for standard def material, and upscaling looked a bit soft with some junk pixels and overshoot. With interlaced film-based material, the LG HU85 lost lock intermittently on 3.2 and 2.2 cadences, so it is best to send a progressive video signal to the projector. On this 1080p test pattern from the Spears & Munsell HD benchmark disk, the finest chroma detail was blurred in both the horizontal and vertical directions. We caught the LG HU85LS applying a small dose of noise reduction at all times, even with all noise reduction settings off, which could only be eradicated by engaging game mode. Picture uniformity was also. Our review unit didn't manifest any obvious light bleed, but the sides looked slightly darker with a warmer tint than the center. HDR on projectors has traditionally been challenging, though the HU85LS Cinebeam 4K laser projector has some help in the form of dynamic tone mapping which should be left on most of the time. This 1000 nit scene from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children looked washed out with missing highlight detail until dynamic tone mapping restored pop and depth to the image. Similarly, the sun and the surrounding clouds were completely blown out in this 4000 nit movie pan, until dynamic tone mapping brought all the specular highlights back, unfortunately at the expense of average picture level or APL. We think the dynamic tone mapping algorithm implemented on the HU85LS had a tendency of lowering overall brightness excessively, sometimes leading to further crushing of shadow detail which was already not very clear in the first place, owing to DLP's greyish blacks. Native 10-bit gradation was already very good, which is a relief because the smooth gradation decontouring filter seemed to have little to no effect, however long we waited. Dolby is currently not certifying any domestic projector for Dolby Vision, but we were surprised to discover that the LG HU85LS or HU85LA also doesn't support HLG, the broadcast-friendly HDR format, instantly putting it at a disadvantage to competing models from Epson, Hisense, and Optima. For gaming, input lag measured 73 milliseconds in game mode with a 4K 60p video signal, going up to 92 milliseconds with a 2K 120p signal, possibly due to upscaling which is too sluggish for any self-respecting gamers. To sum up, there are a number of things we like about the LG HU85LS. It is more color accurate than all other Chinese UST laser projectors after calibration. 
it is bright enough to retain some pop in the presence of ambient lighting. Its dynamic tone mapping feature benefits HDR presentation in a largely set and forget manner, and the webOS portal with inbuilt streaming apps is just so intuitive and convenient. However, at £5,000, we think the price is a bit too high for a projector that doesn't ship with a bundled ALR screen, doesn't play back 24p films natively without telescenic judder, doesn't support HLG HDR format, and doesn't deliver deep blacks or low input lag. If you want to watch some of our other technical projector reviews, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it, and I'll see you in the next video.